Hey everybody, um, today is a video that I'm not really looking forward to, but I'm going to try and keep an open mind about and go along with it. They can't see you, baby. That's why I'm telling you like this. <laughs> um, I'm actually going, we're going what? Grasshopper hunting today? Grasshopper hunting. So I'm going to try my first Ugandan grasshopper. How do you yes. pronounce it over here? Like, is it fried Nsane grasshopper? Nene. Nene. What? Nsenene. Zenene? Nsenene. Zenene. Nse. Nse. Nsenene. Nsenene. Mm. Okay. So to get a sick, to get a sick and say nene, they look for Ugandans, you know? So let's go hunt uh, for them. Then we come back and go. Pray for me. Pray for Brandon. All right. So now we are actually on the hunt for the grasshoppers. And I'm actually curious, what's the first thing you do when you're going grasshopper hunting, Hajara? Yeah, I think in this area now where we stay at, we can't really find them in the market, like as we go to buy groceries. So we are just going to drive around. Usually they, they are selling them beside the road, carrying like, carrying like a basket. So we are going to do that. When we find someone selling, we just stop besides the road and call them to come and, and we buy from them. So we're just going to keep on driving around. Hopefully we find one. Fingers crossed. So once we find one, can you uh, can you bargain? Yeah. For the grasshopper? You know I have that talent. <laughs> <laughs> you always say I bargain a lot. She loves to bargain, y'all. Yeah. All right, well. Let's see what we can find. Gotta love these Kampala roads. They are best. They make you exercise your body since you're going up and down, up and down. You lose weight in Kampala because of the hole. Put holes. Hot holes. Potholes. Potholes. So you can see the little, uh, all the different businesses they have on the side of the road here. Markets. Whatever you need, you can find it just by driving through uh, the neighborhood and the streets. They have all t different types of businesses. Oh yeah, so if you guys are wondering about all the guys on the bikes, those are called Boda Bodas. Uh, we have more Boda Bodas than cars out here, I believe. So many people usually stand here on this road. But you cannot drive through Kampala and not see a Boda Boda. It's just not possible. I don't care what time of the day or what night it is. So, you, uh, you know, you get used to them after a while. Oh, oh, it's about to be a situation. Hey, yes. She's bargaining. Yo. 
So that, folks, is how you buy something on the side of the road. You never go for the first price. You always bargain. If I know my wife, <laughs> she did not accept the first price that, that they gave them. And she cut it. She always cuts the price. Whatever they give her, she cuts it. So I'm sure she got the amount that she wanted. So now what do we do, baby? What's the next step? We go back home. We wash them and fry them. Fry? Put, yes. Put a little bit of salt and onions. Ah, and then we eat. I'm going to enjoy. I've been craving for them. I don't think I'm going to enjoy it. I think you will. You just have to have an open mind about it. Okay. Yeah. You're going to see that insects are sweet. <laughs> oh, so you're gonna put some sugar on it? No sugar, just salt. Salt. Well, how's it gonna salt be sweet? And onion. Wh where's the sweetness coming from? They're sweet. So I'm saying they're sweet. Naturally Insects. sweet. Yes. I don't know about that, Hajara. Huh, Grasshoppers are sweet. All right. Well, we're on our way back home, and we're about to find out about these grasshoppers once we fry them up. So, uh, so we're getting ready to cook them up. You gonna tell me how you cook them? We are going to wash them. Uh huh. And after washing, we start putting it on a frying pan. Put some salt, some onions. You can put some chili, whatever. I love them very much. Also, we are just saying cheese. Y'all pray for my wife and her her potty mouth. So uh, it looks like we're cleaning the grasshoppers. Yeah. You wash them as much as you can. Grab one of them for me, the green ones. So I can take a picture with it. We got a photo. Oh well. After washing. They're still kicking around, y'all. They won't stop kicking until they die when I'm cooking them. I will murder. They're going to pour this water and put more water to wash. Yeah. I'm going to wash them for a second time. Make sure that they're clean.
So how many times do you normally have to wash them? I don't mind, do three. Three? Yeah, yeah. that sounds like a good number. Because now you see the water is cleaner. Yeah. Than how it was, the first one you poured. So we're on the third rinse. Stop touching my ass. <laughs> you see how clean the water is now? Yeah, it looks a lot better. Yeah. So the third time is the charm. Yeah, okay. I can't stop there. I won't get, get to the end of this. They definitely smell better this time. Yeah, I told you. It had just slept overnight in the car. I'm correcting my English. Good old salt. So what color do they have to change? They change the... Like goldish, goldish brown. Goldish brown? Okay. So you cut the onions up real fine. Very tiny pieces. Tiny pieces, okay. Yeah. yeah. Alright. So now we're getting ready to add the uh, onions. Yeah, we're adding the onions. Yeah. 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 So if you want, you can add in yours as well. If, if you if you don't find chili. A little chili. Yeah, I love chili. Why did you taste? Are they ready? No, we don't have to overcook the onions. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. Alright, I guess alright y'all, the moment of truth is coming up. Grasshoppers are just about ready. I'm getting ready to sit down and get ready to have my first experience eating grasshoppers. Oh Lord. These are the really grasshoppers and Miss Touchy Tester. Yeah, they're it's looking right at me. There. Why are they looking at me? Okay. You can take off the eyes first. That means you're taking off that whole head. Miss Moment of Truth, baby. Cheers. Cheers. I don't know what they taste like. Almost have like a peanut taste, a nut taste to them. You don't have to eat a lot, baby, for your own good. What? You don't have to eat a lot if you're not feeling it. So what's the benefits of eating grasshoppers? Nothing. There's no benefit. Mm -mm. You see, that's what you take in your mouth. This shit hot too. Mm. Delicious. Mm. Delicious.
Mm. I will say the more you eat, the better it tastes. Mm -hmm. It tastes better than just eating one. Mm. Mm, I can't believe I'm eating grasshoppers. <laughs> but for all my Americans out there that won't kill you, this finger, I'm licking my finger. <laughs> It's because of the, the onion and the chili. Thank God for the onions and the chili and the salt. Mm -hmm. All right. Bye-bye.